السلام عليكم خواتي وشكرا لكم بخير معكم دائما جمال الدين من كابادوكيا احييكم السلام عليكم ان شاء الله تكونوا بخير اليوم راح نبدا مغامره جديده للاسف الشديد احنا جينا لمدينه كابادوكيا هذه بالاخص باه نركبوا في المنطاد ولكن الاحوال الجويه ما ساعدتناش قعدنا ثلاث ايام وليلتين للاسف يعني كل يوم يجي حال مغيم ورياح فالمنطاد ما يطير فللاسف الشديد شفنا الميتريو فيعني تقريبا الاسبوع كامل راح يكون كيما هكا ما نقدروش نستنوا كامل الاسبوع هنايا فراح نديروا رحله ومغامره جديده في مدينه كابادوكيا وبعدها طائره الى اسطنبول نعود لاسطنبول فخليكم معنا وتابعونا راح تعرفوا كامل التفاصيل حول الرحله تاعنا متين متين السلام عليكم متين متين حضرنا الافطار عليكم حضرنا الافطار افطار الافطار 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 الصباحي ويه اتي في تور درناها البالون للاسف الشديد يعني آه الوذر ما تسمحش يعني الجو ما يسمحش الريد تور درناها جيب سفاري مازال الجرين تور اللي راح تكون حاليا آه راح نديروها حاليا فخليكم معنا وراح تستمتعوا ان شاء الله Mr. Erdi, today we are going to do a Green Line tour. First of all, I would like to thank you one by one for spending your whole day in Turkey. Welcome to Turkey, welcome to Cappadocia. Firstly, I would like to give you some information about our tour program. <clears throat> we are going to stop in a minute to see panorama of Göreme. I am going to give you general information there about Cappadocia and then I will give you some free time. And then we are going to visit Derin Kuyu. Derin Kuyu is the name of the underground city, ladies and gentlemen. In Cappadocia region, there are more than 36 underground cities. Only 10 of them are open for visitors. Today, we are going to visit one of them, which is called Derin Kuyu. Panorama of Göreme. But before, I would like to give you some information about Cappadocia. Ladies and gentlemen, Cappadocia is not name of the place. Cappadocia is the name of the region. In this region, there are five different provinces. By the way, in Turkey, we say province, like Istanbul, Ankara, Izmir, Antalya. There are 81 provinces in Turkey. Only five of them are in Cappadocia. So Cappadocia is not only Göreme, you stay over there. Cappadocia is not only Avanos, not only Ürgüp or Uçisa. Okay, now we are in the center, but Cappadocia is a very big region. Kayseri, Kırşehir, Aksaray, Nide, Nevşehir. These are the name of the provinces which are located in the border of Cappadocia. So it's a very big region. Formations, we can see them in Cappadocia everywhere, are natural, only caves are man-made. We can see caves everywhere on those rock formations. Those are man-made, just the formations are natural, and we call them as fairy chimney. Peri Bajasa. Why? Because in the past time, local people <coughs> in this region, they used to believe that these rock formations were made by the fairies. Because they knew that this is not man-made. On the other hand, the shapes are very amazing, but they couldn't figure out that it was formed by nature. So they thought that there must be something behind this. Shabab, <laughs> منطقة رائعة بتشوفوا يعني الوادي ورانا رائع جدا. من المدينة اللي كنا فيها هي هذه اللي رأيت تحت. آه هي بعيدة شوية وهذه في أعلى المرتفعات فيه مكان آخر راح نروحوا له اللي هو هذا أعلى قمة في المنطقة هذه والوادي هذا كما تشوفوا هو هذه المنطقة كانت يعني هذه كلها حمام بركانية وعلى ألف سنين صارت بالطريقة هذه في محطتنا الثانية هي المدينة تحت الأرض يعني غريبة جدا يعني غريبة أنا مسمحت بها underground city يعني مدينة تحت الأرض مدينة جمعة تحت الأرض مش يعني سكن تحت الأرض هي مدينة تحت الأرض يعني على حسب المرشد ما قالنا تقريبا فيها ثمان طوابق تحت الأرض وفيها أكثر من ألاف الغرف وطاقة لها استيعابية من خمسة آلاف لستة آلاف شخص تخيلوا جمعة كيفاش كانوا يتنفسوا كيفاش كانوا يتنفسوا تحت الارض يعني اكيد هندسه معماريه راح تكون غريبه جدا ف الله اعلم فمش عارف اذا راح يخلونا نصوروا تحت ولا لا ولكن اذا اعطونا الفرصه انه نصوروا راح نوريكم بعض الفيديوهات او بعض المناظر تحت 
<تصفيق> صورة هذه صورة بسيطة عن المدينة تحت هذه بعض يعني كيفاش تصوروها ولكن هي أكبر من هذا هذا المدخل تاعها أكيد لازم تشري تيكت تذكرة وتدخل المرشد هو هذا المرشد تاعنا هو راح يشري كلش يعني أحسن حاجة أنك تجي مع وكالة سياحية هما اللي لأنه يعرفوا هما اللي راح يوجهوك أحسن Yes, now we are on the first level of this underground city. As I told you before, the first level is the oldest level. That's why the sections on the first level look like natural. But of course, there is no natural cave over here. These are also man-made, but these sections are roughly 4,000 years old, which were built by the Hittite. On the first level, several sections can be seen. For example, kitchen, winery, storage room, stables. These kind of sections can be seen on the first floor. When we go deeper, we are going to see some other sections. Okay, come closer, please. I want to show you kitchen section first. Oh, That's natural light. Natural light. How much natural light does it have? Uh, you mean lighting? Mm -hmm. Lighting? Yes. Yeah, they were using linseed oil. I will talk about it now also about this. Yes, good question. Guys, now we are in the kitchen part of this underground city. I told you before, today we are going to visit only 10% of this underground city. So we can see only this example as a kitchen. But it doesn't mean that there was only one kitchen over here. Maybe they were 10, 15, 20, 30, 40. But today we can see only this example. How can we know that it has been used as a kitchen? For example, right over here we can see tandoori we call thunder in Turkish. They used to make fire in this hall for cooking. Even to the local people in this region, they are still using this kind of ovens in their uh, local houses. They call thunder. And uh, the chimneys, for example, one of them is right over here. It is for smoke, but it is closed. We can see another chimney right over there. It is still open. You can see daylight from this chimney. And also, if you look at silk, we can see some black color. It is smoke layers. Because of these things, we know that they were using this room as a kitchen. Ladies and gentlemen, Cappadocia region is still very famous in Turkey with wine. Local people, farmers, they grow up grapes for red wine or white wine. In the ancient times also people used to make wine in this region, in Cappadocia, even in this underground city. So this is the winery section. Meters, sorry guys, stop you, okay? After 10-15 meters, on your left hand side, we are going to see one more section. At the entrance, uh, at the end of it is written as food storage, food storage, okay? Inside the room, you are going to see an example of the pottery, clay pot. It is not original one, it is just for the exhibition. In those times, like today, they were using that kind of potteries for, dry, for their dry foods or for their drinks. So we can see an example of food storage room. I'm explaining storage room over here because that area is too small. We can't stop there all together. But while you're passing through this tunnel, you are going to see storage room on the left hand side. You are going to see the sign at the entrance, okay? okay. Yes, here we are, please. This way. Good at that. We are going to pass through very long tunnels between the levels. So there is no balance. This is like huge labyrinth or huge ant hill. You can imagine like that, okay? And also please do not wait to see any space room for living. For example, you are five, six people, you are a family group, you are living here. Another family group was living there. Another family group was living here. There was no privacy. There was no separation. They used to live in these rooms as family groups. Most probably, while they were living in this room, they were using this place for television. You can see place for TV, right? <laughs> for small plasma. Yes. And now, dear guests, after explanation, we are going to go down from this way. When we turn this corner to the right side, after six or seven steps, on your right hand side, you are going to see a stone door. Door which looks like a millstone, the Irmentasha like a Deirmentashe, 
but it's a door, and it is believed that they built up that stone door in its original place because it is not possible to take it from outside. Not possible. Why? Because it's about five or six hundred kilos, very huge one. So it is believed that they carved wool and they built up that stone door from that place. So it's the original place of that stone door. ventilation shaft as an elevator. You can imagine that they were carving rocks over here. So they had pebbles, they had stone pieces, and they were using this uh, ventilation shaft to take out this kind of materials from this underground city. So this is not only for fresh air, also it has been used as an elevator. And this tunnel is for communication, guys. This tunnel goes up to the fourth level. The people on the fourth level were communicating with the people on the fifth level by this tunnel. Like a ضيق جدا مي... ضيق جدا وهذا كان اكبر تونل اللي مشينا معاه ممكن مش عارف يحمل متر تحت الارض ولكن في الطابق السابع تخيل طابق السابع تحت الارض يعني وين راح يكون والله يعني اللي عنده ضيق النفس ولا حاجه عنده مشكله ما يقدرش احنا 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 مشكلتنا طوال طوال تعبنا واحنا نازلين خاصه شفنا فوق هذا الطويل في تقريبا 100 متر تعبنا تعبنا صراحه واحنا نازلين نازلين هاي كيف <تصفيق> باي <تصفيق> <تصفيق> These are also original from that time, just to support the ceiling. And there is a tunnel right over here just for uh, fresh air. It is connected with the ventilation shaft, which we have seen from the fifth floor, just to provide fresh air for this area. Okay? Okay. This is the question I wanted to ask you. How do you get to the bottom? The bottom is the bottom. 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 Maybe it has been used as a storage. Nobody knows, but people say it was, it was been used as a storage. It is over there. Which you can have a rich map of the moon. Come to other place. What year was this built again? I forgot. This. Sorry, sir. What year was this approximately? Almost century, fourth century, sir. Fourth century, about 1600 years ago. So where is the eighth level? It is right over there. This tunnel is only five meters long. At the end of the tunnel, there is only one room from the eighth level. It is only for ventilation shaft. We are going to see same a ventilation shaft which we have seen while we are on the fifth floor. If you look at up from there like this, you can see sky. It is still open. Okay? You can have a look, please. We are going to come back by the same way. Please. almost 90 so this water well is 90 meters deep from outside that's why it is called the Derinkuyu Tainanjiro <laughs> <laughs> we need to take a rest here, yeah? Yeah, please. <laughs> okay, guys, come here, please. At one time, at one time. Ada Akal. ارتفاع اقل نفق في يعني نفق في اقل ارتفاع تلفت لي لغالب يا خلاص 
Just because we are we are taller. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we are a large group of you can sit anywhere you want. We are a little bit small, a little bit small. We are about 10 meters, 10 meters, and we If they cannot go out, they were coming to here. Because in this area, they have already bad smells because of their animals. You can visualize that. There it is closed area and there were several kind of animals. So they had already bad snouts over here. That's why they were keeping big potteries over here for toilet. While the smalls are full downstairs, they used to bring them till here to put the big one and then they were used them again. This was their toilet system. هذه كانت الرحلة تاعنا خاوتي في اندرغراوند سيتي في مدينة كابادوكيا يعني رائعة ولكن تبغي لي يستحمل الضيق لأنه المكان ضيق والتونل طوال ومرات تلاقي التونل صغار شوية فيعني يكون عندك شوية ضيق تاع النفس